All right then, so we are now uh, looking at um, the, um, the miniature painting I was talking about. It's uh, Saint Christopher on um, crossing the river with the child on his shoulders. It is taken from um, a book of ours called The Spitz Hours, which was uh, realized in the 1420s. So here we are, uh, here we have uh, Jesus Christ with um, the child. It's very interesting to notice that uh, there's a very tender gesture here. Uh, uh, Christopher is holding the, um, the child's foot, uh, left foot in his um, hand. And we, ha we have <clears throat> exactly the same gesture in one of uh, the Limburg's um, miniature paintings um, I'm going to show you now. So, here it is. That's uh, another uh, miniature painting, this time from um, made by the Limburg brothers uh, in 1409. And as we can see, there's the same very tender gesture uh, of uh, Christopher holding the child's foot. Let's go back to the Spitzmaster now. So there's a landscape with a city here. Uh, it's a harbor with boats and I think the boats are um, a way to refer to um, Christian communities uh, because uh, in various um, medieval texts we know that uh, the, um, the boats are um, associated or um, referred to as symbols of uh, the church. So, different um, boats um, around Christopher, seen as the Good Shepherd, the Good Shepherd um, being traditionally um, um, Jesus Christ himself, as it is said in the book of John. Um, we also have uh, sheep here grazing on a hill um, with um, sheep uh, sheepfold. Um, so this is also a reference to the fact that Jesus Christ is seen as the Good Shepherd. We have the hermit here with his lamp and the light. The light being, of course, uh, the light of truth, the light of um, uh, the word of God. Um, we also know that uh, in various passages of the Bible, um, the rock is um, a way to um, uh, refer to God himself as a means of protection. We have fishermen here, and this is a very interesting um, iconic, um, iconographical um, motif. Because, um, well, there are two ways to interpret this. Uh, the first way being that um, uh, there could be um, a pun, a play on words, on the French word uh, pêcheur, uh, meaning both uh, sinners and fishermen, but in my opinion this is not um, what we have to understand here, because in my opinion the fishermen are the ones who are searching for the fish, and the fish is of course a symbol of Jesus Christ. Um, it's a very old symbol. Um, if, we, if we remember um, Christians in, in, in the old days uh, um, um, painted uh, a fish 
so as to um, to refer to, G to Jesus Christ. It's interesting. This this motif is is quite interesting because. Uh, it can be found in very ancient um, works of art. I think of one particular one, which is an early Christian sarcophagus. It's called the Jonah sarcophagus. It was it is kept in um, the Vatican. So if you um, don't know the, the story of Jonah, Jonah is a prophet who was swallowed by a whale and then vomited out um, uh, because uh, he had a mission. <clears throat> but here on the right, we also have a fisherman, okay? And the fisherman is here to um, refer to the fact that the man inside the sarcophagus maybe was looking for the fish that is for Jesus Christ himself. All right. So, fisherman, we have something like looks like um, a small dragon. Another detail that seems interesting to me is the bunch of lilies. Um, we all know that uh, lilies are used um, as a very familiar iconographical uh, motif in Annunciations. Um, it's a symbol uh, for the Virgin Mary. And we also have um, the stick here. Uh, it's better like this. Yes. And we can see that it's it bears leaves. Uh, I forgot to say that uh, after the, um, the crossing of the river, uh, the child uh, says to Christopher that, um, uh, well, he orders him to plant his staff um, in, in his garden next to his house. And uh, he will see on the next morning that um, the, the staff will bear fruit and leaves. And this is what happens. So the 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 the, the stiffs that we can see here, the staff that we can see here, um, um, bears leaves, uh, meaning that um, um, the redemption has taken place. So Christopher is no longer reprobus; he has become Christopher. Uh, Christopher, meaning Christophorus, the the one who carries. Christopher, uh, Jesus Christ. Um, this is quite interesting also because um, here on the uh, on the painting um, we can see that Christopher is facing us um, as if to say that redemption is also possible for for um, for us because he's addressing the spectator. So that's. Um, about what I wanted to say about um, uh, all I wanted to say about oh yes I forgot one thing the spires here which are quite interesting and uh, funny um, above the horizon so one two three four five church spires uh, so it's uh, an indication of the presence of, of the church everywhere so here in the boats the Community, community of Christians here um, under the light of God. That's all for today. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, goodbye.